and good morning. Here we are at the Gordon Harrison Canadian Landscape Gallery on a rainy day in the national capital. But it's still beautiful because we have beautiful art, beautiful artists joining us at the gallery today for our opening. And here they are walking down Sussex Drive back one year later. Gordon Harrison, Don Patterson, Richard Sturgeon and Greg Benz. Welcome guys. Hi there. And here they are coming in and we're going to have a little chat with them and we're going to look at their art and I'm going to give you a quick uh, look at their art. Here we are in the gallery. It's a little calmer. It's a beautiful day to join us right now in the National Capital at this gallery. We are going to start with Gordon Harrison here. Gordon, good morning. And could you tell us about your latest fall collection, please? Absolutely, Phil. I have a couple of collections to show you. The one on the back wall is my uh, Lacuoro slash St. Dona collection, which are these two pieces here. And I also have another collection right here, Philippe, if you could show. It's uh, my Lac des Zille collection. This is my most recent collection with the use of the bright reds and blues. And then I also have on the back wall here, lovely panoramic pieces over here, Philippe of my trip to Nova Scotia. Those are the marshlands. I believe Scotia. that's Lunenburg, isn't it? It's around Lunenburg, correct. Yeah, just gorgeous. Thank you, Gordon. Okay. And we're going to now switch to Don Patterson, who's right here. Hello. Don, tell us about your latest collection, please. So my newest collection is called Hardine, which means garden in Spanish. So therefore, you'll see some flowers and more colors. Uh, of course, it's all the pure, either 0.999 silver or 0 0.950. And I know that when I look at a garden, it makes me feel like I see the blooming. And when I wear the jewelry, it makes me feel powerful because I can feel the energy from the garden. We're glad to have you back at the gallery. Thanks for taking the trip from Montreal. Thanks so much. All right, so, and we have someone hiding out here back one year later. You had such a great show last year. Greg Benz from London, Ontario. Hi, Greg. Hi, Welcome thanks back. Thanks for having me back. Just beautiful work. Thanks so much. And Thank tell you. us again where you find your inspiration. I think it's around Lake Huron, is it? Yeah, these are all Lake Huron sort of based. Um, up like Grand Band sort of area. But these are the biggest pieces that I've done to date uh, in this series. So, um, you know, the 3684 is the, the largest of, uh, of the work I've done so far. And yeah, I'm super, uh, super excited how everything came out. It's absolutely stunning. And many people, if you read about Greg Benz, he's got an interesting past. He was a disc jockey, he still loves music and uh, tends to paint in the middle of the night to music. Isn't that right, Greg? This is true, really, yes. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. And we've got, from London, Ontario, the man who walks along the beach and picks up metal, wood, and you name it, and puts together masterpieces, Richard Sturgeon. Good morning, Richard. Hi, Phil. Thanks for having me again. I'm really oh, looking forward to We're so time. happy to have you here. We're happy to have some of your pieces too at the Lake House. Tell us about your collection. Well, I've got, uh, I'm, I'm bringing two of my, uh, two new collections from two of my series. The, uh, this piece, as you were saying, walking along the beach, picking up uh, found objects and, uh, and driftwood uh, comes into, uh, into my collection. Um, a Journey's Remains, which is based on traditional kayaks uh, to sort of bring that whole water feel and beach feel back into uh, back into the studio with me. And then I'm also, uh, I'm also brought some pieces from my uh, my Relic series. Um, again, very earthy feeling uh, with more of a contemporary abstract uh, sort of uh, aesthetic. And I love this. I, what I love about your work is that it has movement and it doesn't eat up a space in a home. You have the feeling, you see right through it. There's movement, something's happening when you look at your work. I'm looking at this masterpiece here that you did, which is the invite. 
and one of our clients in Toronto had a light put right on top of it and mirrored wall and it just looks amazing in his home. And have we covered everybody? So I think we did. So I'm just, we're just starting the day here. You've got to come and join us. And we have John. Hey, Good morning, Natasha. John. Welcome to the gallery. Good morning. And Natasha. Good morning. So everybody, we invite you to uh, join us. We're waiting. Come and have a glass of wine with us. Uh, enjoy this beautiful day, beautiful art. The exhibit continues until November 17th. Thanks for being with us.